Get ready for an exhilarating journey through the history of a musical icon and a moment that reverberated through eternity. Join us as we delve into the powerful impact of the legendary Bob Marley and his historic One Love Concert. In the early hours of April 23, 1978, a historic event unfolded in Jamaica, the One Love Concert. Bob Marley, the master of reggae, took to the stage at the National Stadium in Kingston, alongside the country's leading political figures, Michael Manley and Edward Seeger. It was a moment of hope where Marley sought to unite the nation amidst escalating political violence. The aim was grandiose. Over 30,000 people gathered, the finest reggae artists performing, and Bob Marley as the evening's shining star. Everyone hoped that this epic event could calm tensions between the supporters of the People's National Party, PNP, and the Jamaica Labour Party, JLP. However, despite the festive atmosphere, the peace Marley yearned for was still far from being achieved. The 1970s were tumultuous for Jamaica, with gangs controlling the streets and political violence reaching alarming levels. Manley, leader of the PNP, promised radical changes for the country, while Siaga of the JLP advocated for a more conservative approach. The rivalry between the two parties sparked conflicts that spread across entire communities, leaving a trail of destruction. The concert took place at a critical time. Just months earlier, Mali had survived an assassination attempt, an attack many believed to have political motivations. Yet, in the face of this danger, Marley did not retreat. His music had always been his most powerful weapon, and he firmly believed he could use his voice to unite people, regardless of their political differences. Despite all expectations, the One Love concert failed to bring about the immediate peace everyone hoped for. The political and social divisions in Jamaica were too deep to be resolved in a single night. However, the event left a lasting legacy. Marley's message of love and unity continued to resonate, inspiring future generations to strive for a fairer and more peaceful world. One year after the tumultuous year of 1978, gang leaders Claudius Massop and Aston Bucky Marshall, representing different political factions, took a bold step towards peace. They called for a truce and planned an event that would shake Kingston to its core, the One Love Concert. To raise funds and improve conditions in the city's central neighborhoods, they relied on the crucial participation of Bob Marley, whose renowned album Exodus made him a key figure in the cause. On April 22, 1978, around 35,000 people gathered for the concert, eager for a moment of relief amidst rampant violence. Marley was welcomed as a hero, a symbol of hope in dark times. Ziggy Marley, son of the legendary musician, vividly recalls the excitement of the time, describing the moment as a turning point for Jamaica. Security was tight, even the sale of oranges was prohibited inside the stadium, such was the fear that they could be used as weapons. The audience, seated in sections titled Unity, Love and Peace, witnessed a spectacle that began in the afternoon and extended into the early hours of the next morning, culminating with Marley and the Whaler's highly anticipated performance. In a surprising gesture of unity, Marley invited Manley and Seeger to join him on stage during his set. Calling both by name, the three political leaders joined hands above the singer's head in a moment that echoed through the island's history. For one night, peace seemed like a tangible possibility, albeit fleeting, while Marley fought his own battle against cancer, diagnosed in 1977, political tensions in Jamaica continued to escalate. The year 1980 saw a drastic increase in violence, with over 450 politically related deaths. Even the organizers of the One Love concert did not escape the cycle of violence. Massop was killed in a confrontation with the police in 1979, followed by Marshall in 1980 
in New York. Despite the challenges, Sega emerged victorious in the 1980 elections, leading Jamaica in a new direction. However, Marley did not live to witness these changes. His premature death in 1981, at the age of 36, left a void in the music and soul of Jamaica. Although Marley did not fully witness his vision of a united Jamaica, his legacy endures. The 1978 One Love concert is now recognized as a crucial milestone in the nation's recovery journey. As Chris Blackwell, founder of Island Records, said, that concert was a catalyst for change, a moment that inspired hope and unleashed a wave of transformation in Jamaica. The significance of the One Love concert is celebrated in the film Bob Marley, One Love, where Kingsley Benadir shines as Bob Marley, accurately capturing the reggae icon's grand presence. Don't miss the opportunity to witness Benadir's transformative performance and relive the magic of the One Love concert in cinemas now. Incredible to follow the story of Bob Marley's One Love concert, isn't it? We want to hear from you. Comment below if you know any interesting celebrity trivia or if there's a specific topic you'd like us to explore in the next video. Your input is crucial to keep bringing relevant and engaging content.